LeBron is adding another chapter to his legendary book. Not the one most of his fan base and adoring media were hoping for when this playoff season began, but rather another underachieving, disappointing choke job, which has become a signature of his 20-year playoff career. But his hollow stat-obsessed disciples will be sure to find a way to gloss over it or outright forget about this series altogether. And this playoff run started promising enough as the Lakers ran through their first two rounds with little opposition, coming from the crumbling Grizzlies and the surprise fading of the Warriors. But they have bumped into a different beast altogether in the conference finals. And while much of the Lakers supporting cast had been up to the challenge, LeBron James has decidedly not been. The Lakers finished the regular season 43 and 39, and were the seventh seed in the playoffs. On the surface, this would seem like an overachievement that they're even here. But when you dig deeper, you can find a different story altogether, as the Lakers totally remade the fabric of their team at this year's trade deadline, bringing in key contributors like Rui Hachimura, D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, and Jared Vanderbilt, all essentially for the expiring contract of Russell Westbrook, who was, needless to say, a programmatic non-fit. The Lakers were good down the stretch following the deadline deals, very good, posting an NBA Western Conference best 18-9 record to end the regular season. They parlayed this success into two six-game series wins against Memphis and Golden State behind a very balanced attack from multiple Laker role players. The equation has not changed in the Western Conference Finals. Something else also hasn't changed. This dude vomiting all over himself in big playoff moments. And in the midst of his failures, the calls by the mass sports media are already starting to heat up about how to fortify this team in the offseason. Uh, but I, I'm just going to tell you, Kyrie Irving is a possibility. But what more do the Lakers need? In this series, Anthony Davis is averaging 29 points and 14 rebounds per game on 52% shooting. Austin Reeves, of all people, is averaging 23 points, 6 assists, and 4 rebounds per game on 55% shooting, and Rui Hachimura is averaging 17 points per game on 64% shooting. I mean, I say again, what else do the Lakers need? They have been highly competitive throughout this series. The Lakers were in a one possession game with under a minute to go in game one. They were up three at the end of the third quarter in game two and down only one with seven minutes left in that game. And in game three at home, the Lakers were up one with seven minutes to go in the fourth. Yet despite all of the close games and all of the high-end contributions, here we are. The Lakers are in an 0-3 hole. In the history of the NBA playoffs, teams falling down 0-3 have a combined record of 0 and 149, and there's only one player to point to for all of the blame. This flopping loser who has the chosen one tattooed across his back and refers to himself as the GOAT. That one right there made you the greatest player of all time. Is shooting just six of 17, which is good for 35% in the fourth quarters of this series. And that is where this series is being decided in the fourth quarter. And it is even worse from outside the three point line as he's shooting just 11% in the fourth quarters from three. But that hasn't stopped the king of bricks from chucking them up when it matters most. Overall, for the postseason now, LeBron is shooting just 31% on jump shots. That's 44 of 140. He's shooting 72% from five feet and into the basket. Outside of five feet, he is shooting for the playoffs now, just 55 of 164 for 33%. Is this your king? Is this your king? I know, I know. I can hear the cries and virtually already see the comments in this video. But he's old. But, but he's injured. If LeBron had teammates posting these kinds of efforts while he was playing the same way as he is, the story would not be of a late in his career LeBron 
being carried to a ring behind Anthony Davis and great role player contributions. The narrative would instead be LeBron leads the Lakers to a title in year 20, wins his fifth, and ends the GOAT debate. So I suggest you keep that same energy now and call it how it is in this series. LeBron is penning another chapter in his book of choke. While no team has ever come back from an 0-3 deficit, nothing is ever guaranteed. But if the Lakers do fail to make a comeback in this series, it will be just one more glaring instance of how LeBron simply doesn't stack up to others when the lights are at their brightest.